we have been driving for over an hour. We're on our way to find some waterfalls that we kind of know where the parking area is, even if we don't find it. This was worth it. No regrets. Where are we? We're in the middle of Snowdonia National Park, and it is stunning. It's just beautiful. We made it. Our hike today is going to take us to Dennis Amris. Uh, there should be a waterfall over there, I hope. At least that's what the internet says. Uh, trying to find the parking for this place on the GPS was really, really tough. So I just looked at it on Google Maps and then like pinned a place close to where I thought the parking would be. But if you put this into Google Maps, you'll probably have a better chance. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but that's what the sign says outside the parking area. Parking is free. Um, it's kind of a come as you are. There's no staff or anything here. Um, we're really regretting not bringing a day pack, but we do have two bottles of water and good hiking shoes and a four mile round trip hike ahead. So let's get to it. I'm gonna have some word of warning here. Uh, four miles, it's not a big deal for us. We've done quite a bit of hiking. Uh, if you're not used to it, definitely bring enough water and something to eat. Uh, just be prepared, folks. Don't get stuck out here. There's actually a helicopter flying around right now, and we think they're picking people up. It looks like a big Chinook. So just be conscious, you know, bring water, bring something to eat. Don't just do this without thinking about it. I don't wanna get anyone's hopes up because I might've screwed up. I could have sworn. This was a nature hike with like three waterfalls on it, but the map didn't mention any waterfalls, but it did mention a, like a round tower ruin or a hill fort ruin, which is also something that we would normally put on the list to see. So I have no idea what we're gonna find at the end of this path, but I bet we're gonna love it. is a division between the government-owned property and a farmer's property who they have agreed to let people walk through to get to the sites that we're gonna see. Just a reminder to be respectful when you're on somebody else's property, especially at the moment when lambing season is, is uh, hitting towards the end, all the lambs have been born. So just watch out for all the animals and be respectful that you're on somebody else's property.
beautiful here. So we think we found the uh, hill fort that they talked about on the sign. We're not 100% sure, but obviously this was man-made. We don't know how long ago it was made. We need to do our research on it. If it's anything like any of the other places we've been to that are really old, they just loved having this height so they could see anybody that was coming after them. And it was just also a dominance thing where it was like, look at me, I can move all the way to the top of the mountain and build something. We've made it to the end of the trail here, so we're guessing that that little structure up there was it. We don't see anything else that looks like a man-made structure. It all just looks like natural outcroppings. Uh, we'll do some research when we get back to the Holiday Cottage and fill you in, but even if that wasn't it, the view is totally worth it. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a, there's a house behind me. Someone built a house here, and I can 100% see why. I mean, that's your front view? Come on. We have just finished the trail. It was epic, it was awesome. We would highly recommend it if you're in the area. We kept thinking to ourselves, like, why is this why are we here? Because like we starred certain things for certain reasons, but we have so many things on our list, we kind of forget sometimes what they are. And we weren't sure if this was the place that one of the Arthurian legends is from. And we were talking about it on the way down. And when we came in the building and just came a little further than we did when we first got here, we realized it was, which is really awesome. I'm a big fan of the Arthurian legends. The legend goes that a powerful uh, warlord of the time, Vortigern, in the 5th century, was building a fort to fight against the Anglo-Saxons. Uh, he was a Welshman, he was very proud. He was building this fort, and every day he would build it, it would kind of crumble, and he didn't know why. After it kept falling down, he called for different magicians to come in and tell him why it was happening. And one of them suggested to find a fatherless boy in town, kill him and spread his blood where they're trying to build the castle and that should fix it. They found the boy, but before they were able to kill him, the boy said, wait, 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 I actually know the real problem. Underneath the where you're building, there's an underground lake and there's a white dragon and a red dragon and they're fighting. And so sure enough, they dug it up and there was a white dragon and red dragon fighting. The white dragon and red dragon came out, they fought to the death, the red dragon ultimately won, and Vortigern was able to build his castle. And the Welsh adopted the red dragon on their flag. It's just a really cool legend. After all that, Vortigern named his castle after the boy that solved the problem for him, and we know him today as Merlin. <laughs>